beautiful night for what we're going to see, some great competition in the Olympic Stadium. Yeah, I did wonder if perhaps the, the half a stone I'd lost was just dehydration. <laughs> Tonight I've got some, some triple berry water, which is, uh, I need a, need a few berries to keep me going. Now, looking forward to watching this race. We've seen El Hanouni quite a few times already. I think this is her third event at the Games. She has already won gold over the 400 metres. Um, and now we're seeing the girls lining up for the 200 metres. Uh, Oksana in lane seven from the Ukraine is, is one of my favourites to watch. Has a, p a wonderful technique. So, And again, it's a T12 category, which is for visually impaired runners. You'll notice that uh, the first three will have guides, but uh, Oksana Botichurk uh, won't have a guide. There's a Zhu of China. She's been fantastic this competition as well. Always looks very serious right up until her name is run out and then, uh, and then she waves to the crowd. This is Zhu Daqing. So you can see they, the, the rules are they're allowed to have two lanes each, uh, even if you're not using a guide runner. So There's El Hanini. Qualified with a, a world record time. But uh, 24.8, but uh, <laughs> Zhu Daqing also has that that time and Oksana Botichurk 25-20 and uh, she's in the outside lane without the guide and she has the slowest uh, season best so this could be a very good contest I would think between Zhu Daqing and El Hanouni mm -hmm. and Zhu Gua on the inside also a contender I see the guide runners tend to go on the outside to give their athletes the least amount of distance to run but again that's a choice for what works best for them. And uh, you'll also be able to spot the difference. The, uh, the athletes always wear the number, the guide wears the bib. And on this occasion, it's easy to spot as well because the guides are men and it's a women's event. So I don't think there'll be any confusion. <laughs> as long as the athlete crosses the line first, that's what we'll be looking for at the end of the 200 metres. Absolutely no wind again, 0.0. 200 metres, T12 final, the crowd quiet. <coughs> and they're away. And it's a good start from El Hanouni and Da King, Zhu Da King going as well. Zhu Da King going very well on the inside. So is El Hanouni. Botichurk doing well in the outside lane. But the Chinese competitors coming through now. This is a great race. Anybody could win this. On the inside, it's Zhu Gua, Zhu Da King. And uh, here comes El Hanouni now. El Hanouni is going to get this. She's coming very well at the line. It's the French girl who's going to win it. El Hanouni gets it. Zhu Gua on the inside, I think, got silver. And I couldn't tell who got the bronze. But it was uh, Asia El Hanouni of France, 31 <laughs> years of age. And that's a great result. A fantastic and result for El Hanouni. She timed that race perfectly. Another world record, Jeremy, 24-46. Absolutely beautiful finish. And you can tell when it's a world record because when they come across the line, then there's a secondary cheer and it's because the crowd are seeing that it's a world record before we get to see that it is. And so there she is with her guide, Simone. Climbs up, gets the trickola, gets a big hug from coach, family. <laughs> what an amazing moment for her and uh, what great shape. You know, you can have a go at the world record in the heat, but then to, to do it again in the final, is incredible. Well done, El Hanini. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. It's your team that really helps you to get across that line. As they come around the bend, momentum off the bend, and look at El Hanini. She's just winding it up, really getting into the race now, passing Oksana, who's starting to tide. But the Chinese was giving her a good run for the money on the inside, and El Hanini, too experienced and uh, in great shape at these games. I wonder whether it will be her last. She has been around... 31 she is. Mm -hmm. What sort of age do people... You stopped at 31, didn't you? You're yeah, I did. Or 35 30. now? I'm 35 now, yes. Yeah. And uh, I think this is her third games. Could even be four. But I know she's had uh, wonderful success in all games and has dominated this field for the last two, if not three, Paralympics. Let's see if we can uh, find out what people are saying on Twitter. Um, Paralympic.org is where you can uh, hear the commentaries and see the live streams. Uh, but there is a Twitter account as well, which is at Paralympic. Um, Zolani Mandidi says, I'm enjoying the Paralympic way more than the Olympics. Way more variety, way more heart. Janine Branford, another late night sitting up to watch Oscar Pistorius. 
Nishan says, I reckon the Brazilian's going to run Oscar down. Uh, James McIndoe, question for you. Why in the 200 meter T12 does every athlete have a guide except for one person? It depends on their, on their site um, and whether they choose to have one or not. Obviously, it would be harder work to, mm. to have one. But if you've just got enough site, because there's a level of... Um, when, when they're being uh, classified, there's a minimum level and maximum level within a category. Um, can I just let you know, El Hanini, she won gold in Athens for the 100, 200, 400 and 800. In Beijing, she won gold for the 200 and the 400 and silver for the 800 and the 1500. What an incredible athlete we are looking at. She's picked up the gold in the 200 and also the 400 at this Games. She's done fantastically well. On Twitter, at Paralympic, Olwyn Myberg says, can listen to Jeremy Nicholas and Katrina Webb commentary all night. Go Oscar and Arnu. Proudly South African. While we're watching El Hanini, uh, just a little bit about her sight. Uh, she's almost blind with less than one-tenth vision in her left eye and zero in her right eye. She also runs against athletes without disabilities in 